Magnus is still playing. I'm not sure if he's going to win against Levan Pansumaya. Really? Uh, yeah, it's a pawn up for Magnus, but decent counter play for Pansumaya. So, so he still has this c5 passed pawn. He went to attack h6, and now it's really important if this f pawn can do some damage because otherwise how I don't really happened? see I don't really see how Magnus is winning. I don't know. A lot of stuff happened. Knight to g5. What's that? Uh, F3 is a threat. Okay. F3 is a threat. Mm, maybe he, he he's still maybe he's still winning. But uh, uh, it's he like could, he could he could manage to win earlier than this. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, th I think Pansmaya was defending nicely. I mean, at some point, uh, queen, queens got exchanged, knight f4, uh, this, bishop a6. Yeah, the position is not that easy. Okay, you're, you're one pawn up, but uh, white has the majority on the other wing. So the position is, I mean, it wasn't easy. Anyway, and with all the tension involved, we've seen uh, Fedoseev, our leader, very strong grandmaster, not taking a piece in one move. Yeah. So oh it's God. all the tension, you know, well... So what happens yeah, now? Other other games. Um, uh, the most of the games are finished. Uh, first. Any results on second, the top boards? Okay, here are some results. The board five, Mamedero managed to win. Ah, Mamedero wins Wu. against Buxenji. Yeah, and Nepo wins as we mentioned before to uh, mm -hmm. buff. Knight g5, the tra well with three seconds on a, on the clock, Levan Pansulaya make his last move which was, I'm not sure what the move was, like king f1 possibly, like king f, I know, king he f has taken on h6, f3, three and king, f2. king f2, rook d3, a really brutal move, knight goes to, d4, uh, to f1, check from e4, and now the pawn on d4 is gone, and then probably followed by Six uh, 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 takes. Check on oh my H7. God, C5 check on H7. Uh, well, he actually makes it. After check on H7, he goes F C6. C6 and C7. So still, still a fight. Still a fight. King F6 is the tempting move, of course. King can go on D8 and Are then Rook D1. Are you take care of the C4? Yeah, plan? Rook D1 and Knight D2. I and White cannot ex uh, Yeah, looks like. This plan. Looks like. Come but on, the no. same, no, I mean the same can be done with king on f6. No, king this, controls this rook one. Rook to c4, c7, c7 and rook, rook c1, c1 anyway. But just tell me truth, king d8 was fancy. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 wait, uh, he found the better way. It's rook c2, mm. so he's threatening rook g2, knight f2, mate. So that's, that's winning, winning by force. Yeah, in two moves. Knight e3 is check, the only then. option, then it's a check, knight goes back, and then white is completely paralyzed, so black black can actually... He can play knight d2, no, he cannot play knight d2, that's... Or he can, no, he can, and then after c8, queen, he's, a mate. he's mating, yeah. Mm, nice end game. Nice end game technique by Magnus Carlsen, knight e3 indeed was played, so a check from c1 happens. Knight goes back to f1, and now, as I said, anything is winning. Knight d2 is good, but you can also go king e5, king to d6, and just take the pawn. Magnus is going to win, and he will be just half a point, half a point behind the leader. Vladimir Fedosev. So Magnus will have eight. Fedosev has eight and a half. Yes, Magnus is winning after knight d2. So here we have the situation, Fedosev uh, with eight and a half points, Anand, Swidler, Wankau and Carlsen with eight points. There should be more players with eight points, I guess, because it was quite a lot of players on six.